All right, guys, what's up? In this video, I wanna talk about the inner temple and the importance of doing the inner temple exercise. Now, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna put some links below in the description box. I've talked about this extensively in the past, so I don't wanna get into some huge explanation of what the inner temple exercise is. The inner temple in layman's terms is a fortress of solitude of sorts that you can travel to in your own mind. And you can learn about yourself by communicating with your subconscious mind within this inner temple. The inner temple is something that I first learned about by reading through Philip Cooper's books, books such as The Magician, The Inner Temple of Magic, etc. I started doing the inner temple years ago, folks, and uh, sorry, I just got a notification. I started doing the inner temple exercise years ago, and I noticed that the more I went into it, the more I didn't want to come out of it. There has been times where I've spent four hours or more in my inner temple learning from myself. So if you want to learn more about the inner temple and how to do it, I would suggest becoming a patron on my Patreon page for $5 a month. I have all the explanations. I have hours of detailed videos about how to do this exercise and how to get more out of it. If you happen to have a copy of Philip Cooper's books where he explains how to go into the inner temple, that's step number one. But Throughout his books, one of the things that I've noticed is that he doesn't, he gives a good explanation on how to get into it, but there's not a whole lot of detail on what to do with it. Um, and I think that that's a good thing to a large extent, folks, because I think Philip wanted, wants you to really learn what the inner temple is through experimentation and going back to it. So this is kind of a word soup. I did not get a lot of sleep last night, folks, but lately I've really been thinking about how important the inner temple is. Every time I go into it, I'm just blown away at what I learn, the relaxation that comes from it. The inner temple connects you to the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. If you follow the inner temple exercise as laid out by Philip Cooper, which has become an intimate part of what I teach. It's a foundation, folks. It's and it's the ability for you to learn how to use your own mind to affect your reality and how to change your own flawed thinking constructs. We all have these. And by going into your inner temple, folks, and working with your subconscious mind, you will learn firsthand how you have flawed thinking processes that you just need to change. And that through those changing or through changing your flawed thinking process, everything else is going to start working better in your life, especially over time. This is not a quick, instant, immediate, you know, instant mashed potatoes type fix. It requires effort. It requires continual work. And the more you do it, there's a good chance the more you won't want to come out of it, folks. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. The inner temple exercise is an absolutely beautiful thing. And you can learn and develop so much by just going into your own mind and working the inner magic of your mind. So in layman's terms, the inner temple exercise is a visualization that you do after you've calmed your body sufficiently and you imagine a door in front of you with an encircled cross on it and you touch it and you are taken into a room. I don't wanna give you too much information on what this room is supposed to look like because for everybody else, if for everybody it's a unique place, you want your mind to generate it for you. For some people, their inner temple might be like mine. It might be a square room with four doors that looks a very specific way. For some people, it might be a castle. For some people, it might be a cathedral or a Tibetan temple. It doesn't matter. But the more you go into it, the more you will notice things that you didn't see the last time you were in it. And it will, it will, there will be a genesis, if you will, of it creating itself as you interact with it. And the more your inner temple builds, and the only way that it builds is through your inner temple or exercise doing it, the more you will learn, the more power you will obtain, and the more your life will improve. Now, if you do what I recommend, and you do the full body relaxation exercise, link in the description box below, for about 20 to 40 minutes before you do this, you're even going to get more out of this, folks. The inner temple, the inner exercises, the thoughtlessness exercise, the motionlessness exercise, the full body relaxation exercise, and the, and the uh, thoughtless, did I already say that? The thoughtlessness, motionlessness, full body relaxation, and the inner temple, all four of these can be used together with mind, all or with absolutely earth shattering results, excuse me. Your mind has the ability to bring you into drastically different worlds through your own effort, but you need a system. You need a fortress of solitude. That is what the inner temple is for. This makes meditation fun. So I hope that makes sense. The inner temple. Get yourself a copy of Philip Cooper's books. 
learn the inner temple, check out my Patreon page, and remember that the inner work, folks, is everything, the inner work. When you start to merge the inner work with the physical work, the consumption of the minerals, the Chaga Shilajit, uh, Chaga Shilajit, Shizandra berry mineral tonic that I recommend people take. When you start to do all these things, when you do it in tandem with the inner work, folks, when you do the vitamin C therapy and you get sufficient antioxidants into your system, you are going to grow by default. When you do all this stuff in tandem with proper spinal stretching and the reopening of the vertebral openings, you are going to quantum leap into more powerful states of consciousness. Screw all this mainstream health nonsense and all this quackery and all this bullshit. People telling you that the key of health is just getting good sleep and you know getting sufficient exercise. Fuck that, it's flawed. The food pyramid is flawed. That's why on the bottom there's gluten. On the, the one food group that they want you to eat more than anything is fucking gluten. Folks, the number one way that the New World Order hijacks your life and destroys your health and mind controls you is through the food supply in a toxic environment. Let's change these things from the ground up. You have the ability to do this. We all have the ability to do this. It just requires your participation. Now, you need, in order to get health, you need a sufficient or valid system on how to do so. So, what do we do? We combine the in, inner work the four exercises that I talk about, the thoughtlessness exercise, the motionlessness exercise, full body relaxation exercise, and the, the inner temple, we combine these four things with the physical work that we talk about here on this channel. Mineral saturation, drinking the mineral tonic, getting sufficient minerals into your system, getting all of the 90 essential nutrients, the vitamins, the amino acids, um, the minerals, the fatty acids, essential fatty acids, all of this stuff. We get these a sufficient flow of the micronutrients and all the stuff we need in our body. And we do it in tandem with the inner work, those four exercises. And on top of that, we ground ourselves, We stretch our vertebra properly. We follow in the footsteps of Frank Rudolph Young, his yoga, and we get proper vertebral postural correction so that we can reobtain a sense of power here in the underworld. All of these things in tandem with one another, especially when you combine it with the mitigation of blue light at the right times of day, will let your brain flower. You will indeed fill yourself up from the inside out. You will feel more real than the world around you when a real state of health is reobtained physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. But you cannot just eat your way into higher consciousness. You've got to do the inner work because the mind, folks, certain regions of the mind cannot be affected or changed just through food. Sure, minerals and proper food will allow your mind to expand and allow you to grasp things that you couldn't prior. But you've got to participate in the reformatting of your mind, folks. The mind is the software of the body. The body is the hardware. We have to use both of them. Do the inner temple exercise. I'll put some links in the description box below, folks. And until next time, peace be with you all. to personally thank you for watching my videos and contributing to the growth of my channel. I could not do this without you and your interest in my content is truly what motivates me and fuels my passion for making these videos and spreading my message. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to remind you that this channel is a free educational tool that is listener supported and if you would like to donate to my channel and donate to my cause help make my life a little bit easier and help keep the lights on around here, you can do so by checking out the links in the description box below. There's a handful of not only ways to donate to my channel, but I also have links to different websites and different videos of mine, as well as my Amazon store, where you can check out a handful, a plethora of different health-related products that I use and recommend. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you so much for your continued interest in my message. And until next time, peace be with you all.